In this small workshop, Maman Adomuwe Lasane and his team are building the prototype drone. With six propellers, it can carry five liters of pesticides and is designed to help farmers save time, labor, and protect their health. The drone which we've shown you, the one we have here, is the Gona drone. It's a drone used in agriculture for spraying. Traditionally, to spray a field, we used the pneumatic equipment that we carry on our backs and pumped by hand to spray. This system is far too difficult to use, especially when the area is large. However, with this drone that we have implemented, we earn 20 times more than the traditional system. The team now hopes to expand the tank capacity so the drone can cover larger areas. Agriculture employs more than 80% of Niger's population, making innovations like this crucial to the economy. We use this pump to spray the plants and disinfect them. Really, the use of pesticides is said to be dangerous to our health. Also, there's the physical effort involved with this machine. It's really tiring. So we are ready to purchase this drone because it really makes our work easier, faster and protects our health. From what I've seen, you can spray a two-hectare field in 40 minutes. For farmers like Omoru Hasane, who grows moringa and squash, spraying crops with a manual pump is not only slow, but poses great risks. We use this pump to spray the plants, to disinfect them. Really, the use of pesticides is said to be dangerous to health, and also there is the physical effort involved with this machine, which is really tiring. Yes, we are ready to purchase this drone because it really makes our work easier, faster, protects our health, and also provides relief. From what I've seen, you can spray a two-hectare field in 40 minutes. Others in the community also see potential in this technology. This drone is a real innovation in Niger. Farmers often need five or six people to spray a field. With this technology, one person can do it quickly and safely. For a country where farmers lack resources, it's a breakthrough. The Nigerian government also plans to invest more than 500 billion CFA francs in agriculture through its Grande Irrigation Program. The initiative aims to develop 2,000 hectares of new farmland and rehabilitate another 2,000 hectares. For innovators like Mamana Domu, they hope their drones will soon move from prototype to mass production, bringing relief to farmers across Niger. Ian Kinyo, Sujitian.